everybody. I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty, where we women over 50 use great skincare, makeup, and health and fitness to look and feel our best. And today I'm excited to bring you some of my favorites from Amazon in the beauty and home areas. These are absolutely some of my most favorite products. I realized that in the past month, in fact, every month, I order a ton of stuff from Amazon. And so I wanted to show you today my absolute favorites from Amazon for the past month. However, these are fantastic products. And if you're not a subscriber and you're interested in everything that helps us look and feel our best in our second half, then I hope you'll subscribe to my channel and or give this video a thumbs up. Okay, let's get down to this. And I have home and beauty favorites and some very large home favorites at the very end. So do stick around for that. They are things that have pretty much changed my life and I'm not kidding and saved me money, that kind of thing. But first I'm going to get into the beauty. But before I do that, I'm going to tell you the thing that has made me most happy this month. The one purchase from Amazon that really has kind of changed my life. And that is that I absolutely love coffee. Coffee is one of the favorite things that I have in my life. I haven't had a drink in 20 plus years. I don't eat sugar. I basically have coffee as my wonderful addiction in my life and I absolutely love it. And this is one of the crazy cup Keurigs that I got from Amazon. This one is called chocolate truffle or Belgian chocolate truffle. And I'm telling you, it tastes just like a chocolate truffle. It is amazing and I really like variety in my coffee and I was using another brand and I really liked it but this brand is totally my favorite because it is a bunch of different kind of high-end Keurig cups like there's some in here it's an assortment an assortment of flavors from Wolfgang Puck from Cake Boss from Intamins all kinds of high dollar brands are represented. I just had to tell you about this coffee. I am telling you, it is one of my best things ever. I'm so happy. It is great brands. I had two this morning and they were fantastic. This is a Moose Munch brand, milk chocolate caramel, which was very good. And a Harry and David's uh, maple brown sugar, which was good. And these are the rest of them. I had a few more the day before, but they're fantastic. They're great brands and they taste so good. Here are some Harry and David's, basically butterscotch caramel, chocolate cherry decadence, Northwest blend. Here's double donut coffee, French toast, and pumpkin spice. These crazy cups are good too. A lot of chocolate flavors there, berries and cream, caramel eggnog. Intamins, which is a huge brand, hazelnut, vanilla, party cake, that sounds good. Chocolate donut, coffee is my weakness. And by the way, they have no calories, which is just great. And it is an assortment of every kind of taste you can imagine. These are caffeinated and I absolutely love them. It has added joy to my life and they're very reasonable in price too, which is just amazing. Okay, now I'll get into some beauty faves and I'll try to go through these quickly because I have a ton of them. And these are absolutely my favorite makeup products. The first is this Catrice True Skin Hydrating Foundation. And I got this from Emily Noel's channel. I believe it was one of her Emily Award winners in foundation. It is very reasonable in price. I think it's like $11. It is what I have on my face right now. And I like it because it is a medium coverage foundation, but it is buildable and I'm old. <laughs> I am in my 60s and look how beautiful that finish is. Absolutely lovely. It does not settle into fine lines and wrinkles. It gives me just a little bit of a youthful glow. Emily Noel was right about this. It's an absolutely lovely foundation. And mine is in the color, what is the color? It is in the color Warm Vanilla. Okay, my next fave is something that I can't do without. I will keep ordering and ordering this. I've had this one for probably two and a half months and I've used it every single day. If you have under eye circles, which I do, I don't have bags, so to speak, but I do have under eye circles and I definitely have darkness here in the corners of my nose there. This is the Pixie by Petra Peach Correcting Gel, I guess. And there it is. And I'm not going to dip my finger in it. You can see the color. Basically what I do is I dip my under eye concealer brush into this and then I just smooth it on underneath each eye and in the black corners of my nose. And it gives me a beautiful kind of a skin-like color. It really nulls out the black marks under your eyes. And again, if you have bags or veins or discolorations under your eyes, I think you will absolutely love this. 
Okay, the next two products I have are to help me grow my lashes and my brows. And as those of you who followed my channel know, I use something on my lashes for maybe five or six months and then it stops working and I have to find something new. I think that is a common experience of many people. And so recently I have been using the Grand Lash MD Lash Serum. And by recently, I would say for the past couple of months, and look at my eyelashes. They're absolutely beautiful. Once in a while, someone will ask me if I wear falsies, and I almost never wear falsies. These are my natural lashes, and this Grand Lash MD is making my lashes longer and thicker. It's absolutely wonderful. And then in terms of my brows, I was using something much more expensive than this. This is the Rapid Brow Brow Growth Serum, and I was using Revita Lash and Revita Brow, which each were over $100, like maybe $150, and they both worked for a while until they didn't. And when my brows stopped growing and started to get sparse again, I thought, what do I do for my brows? And I looked around, I couldn't really find anything. And then I remembered that in the first few years of my channel, four and five years ago, I was using this Rapid Brow, and I will link a video above and below for you because they're great before and after pictures of what this does. And I've been using it for the past couple of months now, and my brows are really pretty good. And in fact, I went to my brow person and she said, my, you have intense amounts of brow hair, especially for a woman your age. And I will take that as a compliment. This Rapid Brow really works, as does this Grand Lash MD. If you want longer, lustrous lashes and great brows, you might give these a shot. Okay, now my next Amazon fave is Stilla Huge Extreme Lash. And I think I just threw two of these away. I have these all the time. And I made the mistake of having two and then ordering another and I did not mark the new tube. So I'm afraid to throw them away. They do last for a long time. And this is absolutely my favorite mascara of all time. However, I do have a drugstore fave that is really fantastic. And I think I may be doing a video about it. I won't tell you about that for now. I'll leave that as a surprise but I absolutely love the effects of the Stila Huge Extreme Lash. They say it looks like lash extensions, and I really think that it does. This doesn't give you those natural little lashes. This gives you va va -voom glam lashes, which I really love. And sometimes va va -voom glam lashes get yucky, yucky, clumpy lashes, which isn't good. And I have discovered this great little tool, and I absolutely love it. It is a curved eyelash comb. And basically what you do is before you use your lash curler, and girls, you do need to use a lash curler, you just go ahead and brush out your eyelashes. Then you apply your primer and or your mascara. And then I always give it just one little go through again. And it really does separate your lashes and make them long and defined. I absolutely love this and I use it every day. Okay, I have problems with gray hairs sprouting up into my brows. I absolutely hate them. I used to pull them, but now I'm afraid if I keep pulling them, I'll pull almost all my brows out, if you know what I mean. At this age, it is important to preserve the brow hair that we do have. And I have probably tried 20, 25 different brow cover products to solve that problem of the little sprouting grays. And I never really had anything that I loved until this Revlon Color Stay. What's it called? Revlon Color Stay Brow Pencil. I guess that makes sense. And it has a little spoolie on the end. And I have it in two colors, blonde, and I think this is dark blonde. And I really use them both. Mostly I use the blonde, but every now and then I go in with the dark blonde. And the thing I like about it is if you are trying to cover up gray brow hairs, I don't know if you can see that, but that's a little triangular pencil. So that is a lot of coverage area and you go ahead and cover up your brows. You can use it to pencil in your entire brow. And another thing I really like about it is it is a brow gel and it does cover your grays, but it also is almost like a brow hairspray because it really does make your brows firmer and kind of stand up in place. Absolutely love the Revlon Color Stay Brow Pencils and this and all of the things I'm talking about are linked below. Okay, my next makeup item is a fantastic eyeshadow quad that I found on Amazon. And this is the Revlon Color Stay Day to Night 24 Hour Eyeshadow. And I have a complaint in general with drugstore eyeshadows. And that is that while I think you can find most every other type of makeup in a drugstore and it's great quality, mostly with eyeshadows, I've been disappointed. They try to make them for the least common denominator. So they make them quote, very blendable, 
which means you can hardly get any color out of them. And I absolutely love this. Revlon has totally stepped up its game in terms of these little quads. They come in a lot of colors. This one is called Addictive, and it's the one I have on my eyes right now. This one is underneath my brow. Look how pigmented that is. This one is on my lids, and it is not a shimmer. I would say it's a satin, and I can get away with this. And for those of you who are like me, and you really love shimmers, because you're a 90s girl or whatever, but you know you shouldn't really wear shimmers, because as we get older, they do tend to emphasize the lines that we have on our lids, that kind of thing. But I can get away with this. That is a very beautiful little satin kind of a color. And then this is what I am using in my crease. And again, absolutely beautiful. These are, as we say, a satin formula, but they go on beautifully, they blend well, and they do last all day. And before I continue on with the beauty products, I realized that I did want to show you this great shirt that I got from Amazon. It didn't make it in in time. It wasn't delivered in time for my last video on tops, but I absolutely love it. I love the little wooden buttons on it. And it is a sweater weight, but it is a light spring sweater weight material. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. It comes in many, many colors. It's very body hugging, but, but in a good way. And it has this wonderful round crew neck top. Absolutely love that. And then I won't spend a lot of time on my jewelry, but I have all of it linked below. That's a David Yerman-alike ring, some David Yerman-alike bracelets. Those, aren't they beautiful? Here is a great Anne Klein watch that's very reasonable. And again, a David Yerman-alike pearl-tipped bracelet and a sterling silver Omega chain, which is very reasonable. I'm absolutely loving Amazon Fashions recently, and all of this information is linked below. Okay, my next beauty fave is this fantastic Laura Geller blush, and this is a classic. And Emily Noel absolutely loves this one, especially this color, and I think it is a gorgeous color. This is the Laura Geller Baked Blush and Brighten in Pink Buttercream. Look at that, absolutely gorgeous. Nobody does baked blushes like Laura Geller. And there is a look at that color. Very, very believable, pinky peach. It is absolutely universal. I think it's neutral, I would say. Has a little bit of a glow to it. I shouldn't do this, I'm gonna mess up my makeup, but I'm going to take my little BK Beauty brush and this is the blush brush, absolutely love it. I'm gonna dip in there, I'll just add a little bit. I just wanted to show you. You're kinda of like my girlfriends. It's kinda of like I'm excited and I wanna show you this. Isn't that beautiful? I'll put some over here. I didn't really need any blush, but you know how I do. Look at that, oh gosh, that is truly lovely. A little bit there, a little bit there. Very, very pretty blush like you were playing with the kids out in the snow and you just came in, you have flushed cheeks with a little bit of a glow, very youthful looking blush, absolutely love this. Now, my next product is something to bring on the glow in a big way and L'Oreal is a master at drugstore priced bronzers and luminizers and that is what this is. It is a beautiful bronzer highlighter kit and they have a tip on the back which is to blend the colors and I'm going to go ahead and add a little more and I'm going to take my BK Beauty brush. This is the 102, a fantastic powder brush and I'll go ahead and just do a little bit down here, just a little bit of bronzer. I already put it on, so I should not do this. But look how natural that is. It is not horribly dark, like a Malibu Barbie kind of a look. It just gives you kind of a gently kiss by the sun look. And I absolutely love these highlighters. And again, I'm going to mix the two of them. And I'm using my little BK Beauty Brush 108. Isn't that pretty? That is so nice. And I already had it on, so it's a little hard to tell. And I also do a little bit up here, right under the right under the corner of the eye. Very pretty. And I'll put a little bit of this right here. And it just kind of makes your lips like a little more bee stung, a little more, a little more voluptuous there. But no one does drugstore bronzers like L'Oreal. And I really think L'Oreal's bronzers and highlighters are just as good as high end. Okay. My next beauty item is the powder that I have on today, and I absolutely love this. You all told me that I needed to buy this, and I bought it, and you're absolutely right. It's absolutely wonderful. This is the number seven Lift and Illuminate Powder, and it's called Finishing Powder, and it is in light medium. And I'll just take a little bit of this and just put a little more on. I already had on plenty, so I probably didn't need to powder myself, 
but isn't that beautiful? It just gives you kind of a flawless finish look. It reminds me of the Charlotte Tilbury finishing powder, which I love. That is very expensive though. I think that's $45 and this is under $10 and I think it's absolutely gorgeous. Okay, my next products are lip products and this is a fantastic lip product and I think the color is just glorious. I'm wearing it almost every day. I can't pull myself away from it. This is the Maybelline Superstay Ink Crayon in the color Have Some Fun or Make It Fun. I think it's Make It Fun. Look at this color. I'll go ahead and put it on again. I don't really need it, but I'll put it on and it just has a little blunt tipped rounded point, which is very easy to use. This lipstick lasts a long time and look at that color. Especially with spring coming, it sort of perks you up to have a beautiful rosy pink and I just think that is gorgeous. And then, as a gloss over it, I've absolutely been loving these Maybelline Lifter Glosses. As you can tell, I have like a zillion of them. I have five of them. And I could go in and use one of the pinky tones, but I want to show you one that I think is very unusual. And this one is called Crystal, but look at it. It looks kind of ugly. I would have never really bought that, except that I saw some pictures. People love this in the reviews. So I'll go ahead and put that on and show you what it does. It does not go on brown. It goes on just very neutral and it just kind of toned down that color and then it just gives it kind of a crystally shine. I guess that's why they call it crystal. I think this is absolutely lovely and in terms of all of the glosses that I have, I think these Maybelline lifters are as good as even the highest end glosses I have. If I weren't on YouTube, I could just have a wardrobe of these and I would be totally set. Okay, my next beauty fave is something that I got from Angie of Hot and Flashy, and you'd have to be under a rock to not know Angie of Hot and Flashy, but she swears by this Olay Regenerist Renewing Night Cream, and it is a fantastic little night cream. I've only been using it for about the past month, but I really think it is making a beautiful difference on my skin. It has lipids, it has moisturizer, it has hyaluronic acid. It just seems to have plumped up my skin and when I wake up in the morning after using it, my skin just looks soft and dewy and a little more line free. Absolutely wonderful. Okay, my next product, you can tell I love it because I bought two of the small It's a 10 hair masks and then I went in and paid 40 bucks or 39 bucks for the big kahuna. This is a 40 ounce bottle of the It's a 10 Miracle Hair Mask. And I I used to never think there were really any differences between hair masks. Before I came to YouTube, I buy whatever was cheapest and I thought that did an okay job, but I have blonde, very overprocessed hair. In fact, every hair on my head is dyed either a dark blonde or a lighter blonde. And that is to cover up the gray that you can see coming in there. It's always sprouting in, but I truly believe that this It's a Tin Mask is better and it is a runaway bestseller on Amazon, five star ratings from like 16,000 people, something crazy like this, but it does take my very straw-like blonde hair and make it into beautiful, natural, kind of shiny looking hair. I'm never going to have the shine of a straight haired brunette person, for instance, but for me, this is a lot of shine and my hairdresser, whenever I go in, she says, I don't know what you're doing with your hair, but keep it up because it is in wonderful shape and what I'm doing is pretty much every time I wash, and I only wash my hair twice a week, I try to remember to put this on and mostly I succeed in that. I put it on for at least an hour or two and I really think it makes a huge difference. Okay, this next fave truly is a wonder worker and I'm not kidding. I have naturally white teeth um, in general. Even since I was a kid, my teeth looked pretty white from a distance. But up close and personal, they were a little bit yellow, especially the dog teeth. And I actually have a video coming up, or maybe it's aired already. I don't know. If it's already aired, I'll go ahead and link it. But I have a video on how to get your teeth super white, basically. And as I mentioned, I had white teeth before, but they always had kind of a slight yellow tinge. And this has totally knocked that out of the park. This is the Color Essence Original Cool Mint Fluoride Whitening Toothpaste. And I am telling you, if you use this for like three days, you're going to see a marked difference in your teeth. I could not believe the difference of using this. And I have a little trick in using this, which I won't go through it because it takes a little while to tell you, but it's a $3 trick. So do watch that video about getting super, super white. I think I call them movie star teeth in that video but this is absolutely the best whitening toothpaste that I've ever used. If you want white, bright teeth, 
You will love this. Okay, my next little fave, I consider this a beauty fave and a health fave. And maybe about two years ago, I did a video on my channel about how to get physically younger. And I had a lot of scientific information and I won't go through all that, but basically the science is showing that taking 500 milligrams of niacinamide a day really does help with anti-aging. Not just your skin, but your heart, your circulatory system. This is a little wonder worker and I won't go through all the details, but I've used it now for a couple of years. This is a very inexpensive brand and someone told me that they toured the now vitamin plant and they were very impressed with the science behind it all and how everything was so standardized and how they really cared about making sure that what they put on the bottle was really in the pills. I do take this niacinamide once a day. It's part of my supplements and this is not to be confused with that flushing niacin. And I used that before and it gave me broken capillaries. I would not use that. This does not make you flush and supposedly it helps you not only look better, but feel better. Okay, my next Amazon fave is the T3 Flocked Hot Rollers. And there they are. I won't take them out, but you can see they've got black velvet there. They are flocked. And if you just want body in your hair and a little bit of wave, Whenever I have my hair kind of volumized with a little bit of curl, this is the way that you like it because this does not create super curls at all. It just creates a lot of volume. I did not use them this morning, but if you're in the market for some jumbo hot rollers, I love these T3s and they're very reasonable in price. Okay, my last two monthly faves are a fantastic mini carpet cleaner and also a steamer, a big full-size steamer. I've always wanted one of those. And in terms of the carpet cleaner, I did tons of research on this all over Amazon and I wanted something small and compact and easy to carry, but I wanted something that worked. And this carpet cleaner is absolutely wonderful. It is the Hoover Power Dash Pet Carpet Cleaner and it is not just for people with pets, but I think it's very helpful if you do have pets. What happened is I had a carpet cleaner in the basement, a little portable one, actually a big portable one, and this room and the bedroom beside it are carpeted and they tend to get kind of grungy, especially this makeup room because I'm in and out of here all the time. And I went and pulled that old carpet cleaner out of my basement storage room and lo and behold, it didn't work. So I thought, well, maybe I should just call a carpet cleaner and have these two rooms cleaned. And that was going to be about $200. And I thought, that's ridiculous, just to do the pathway areas of these two bedrooms. And so I started doing research on Amazon. And again, thousands and thousands of people said this was basically the best carpet cleaner. And it is like $99. And I used it to clean the other bedroom and this floor in here, and it did a fantastic job. Okay, here is a look at my makeup room. I'll just show you that first. I've got my two monitors over there. There's the background you all are very familiar with. And there are my lights, obviously. <laughs> I just kind of like to show you where I live. There's the jewelry that I wear in videos. I really like that jewelry. I also wear it in real life. Here is the Hoover Power Dash Compact Carpet Cleaner. And it is absolutely wonderful. It was rated five stars by like more than 60,000 people. I did a lot of research on this. I used it to clean these carpets in the makeup room and it worked beautifully, very quickly and it is compact. It stores very easily. It is great apparently if you have pets, but it is super easy to use. And what I do, I store this down in the basement in the storage room. I go ahead and tape the user manual on the front uh, just so that in the future, when I want to clean my carpet again, I can quickly and easily access that and remember how to clean the carpets because you don't use this all the time, but my, when you use it, it is very useful. Well, that was a look at one of my favorite home purchases. Now, I also bought a big steamer. I had a little handheld one, but I've gotten some silk shirts lately and I don't want to iron those. That is such a hassle. And I thought, wouldn't it be nice to have kind of a professional grade steamer? And so for around $100, I found a great one. And this is another case where I was on the internet and Amazon for maybe a couple of weeks looking for what the best steamer would be in terms of a great home steamer. Okay, here's a look at my new Anther steamer. I absolutely love that. It normally sits in the laundry room, of course, but it has a huge basin down here. You just take that off the back and fill it with water and I leave it with water in it. You could use distilled water. I've been using normal water and it seems to be just fine, but probably for longer life, you should get a, a gallon of distilled. But anyway, it just has a little on button here and I always turn it up to the highest steam 
and it heats up in like 45 seconds and has a huge steam wand. One thing I loved about it is it is not plastic up here. It has a metal steam wand like an iron, and that was one of the few products I found, the few steamers I found that actually had that metal wand, which looks like an iron, absolutely great. And I steamed one of my silk shirts on it. I have a navy silk, lily silk blouse, and it steamed just beautifully. Because I keep it in the laundry room, you can steam those things that maybe you wouldn't normally iron, but that you want to look a little crisper. I got this sweatshirt from H&M, and I think it's so cute. And I steamed that just to take the edge off, to take the wrinkles off, and it really did a beautiful job on that. Absolutely love it. It was super highly rated. It heats up quickly and it really gets the wrinkles out of your clothes. Well, that was a look at my Amazon beauty and home faves. And if you have favorite products you've purchased from Amazon recently, if you could share that information in the comment section below the video, either in beauty products or home products, I would really appreciate that. And if you're not a subscriber and you're interested in all things that help us look and feel our best in our second half, then I hope you'll subscribe to my channel and or click this little bell that would help this video in the YouTube algorithm. Okay, I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day. And normally I read from a positive thinking card, but I'm not going to do that today. I'm going to go ahead and tell you about a quick realization that I had. And that was the other day I did a video, a thought for the day in a video, where I said that I have this philosophy of every time you're in a room or something, to do just a little something to leave the room better than when you found it to constantly look for ways to make small improvements no matter where you are. And that idea really focused on physical things you could do, like if you see a glass on one of the tables in your family room, don't assume somebody else is gonna pick it up. Just go ahead and pick it up and take it and put it in the dishwasher, little things like that. And then after I got through with that video, I got to thinking about it. And while it's important to leave rooms better or locations better than the way we found them, it is also important to concentrate on our relationships in the same way. And you can do this very quickly and easily. You can always think about improving the relationships you have with those around you by one simple little technique. And that is that with every interaction you have with someone, to try to leave that interaction with a little better relationship than you had at the beginning of that interaction. How that works in a very nuts and bolts way is, say I'm having a conversation with someone at work, and as we're talking, I realize, hey, I want to leave them feeling valued, feeling important, feeling special. And I realize that one of the problems I have is I'm a fast paced person and I'm always wanting to say what's on my mind. And I'll sometimes cut others off. So one thing I try to do with the idea of leaving that interaction better than when you came in is I try to value that person by slowing down and shutting up and listening to what they have to say, really listening to them and then pausing and then saying what I need to say. Or for instance, if that person kind of seems in need of a compliment and they've got some great earrings on or a great shirt on, you can comment on that. And that just gives them a little boost up. They leave their interaction with you feeling just a little bit better. So friends, just for today, as we're going through our day, Think about all the interactions that you have while you're in the moment, even with a grocery store clerk or something like that. When you're in that interaction, think, what can I give this person? What gift can I give this person? And if it's listening, if it's a smile, if it's a compliment, go ahead and do that. And you'll leave that interaction feeling great because you made someone feel better about themselves. Take care and I'll see you in my next video.